What's up, you guys? It's your girl, ICB, and this is I, 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 I Can Be Mondays, where we talk about everything we can be from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I am your host, ICB, and I am very grateful to be here um, in, you know, in front of your lens, um, discussing to you today all that we can be. So um, let's jump into, let's jump into the podcast. Um, today's topic is progress is progress. Now, we can all like slip back into old patterns. And if you really think about it, a lot of times our bodies are programmed to, um, to kind of want to revert, do to kind of like want to go back to whatever was serving us in a certain season at a certain time in a certain way. But I want you to know when I come here to tell you is that, you know, if you have evolved in a way, you've evolved into a certain person, best and believe and behold that that person is still, she's still there, he's still there. You are still whole and complete, regardless of if you make mistakes, regardless of if you slip up, regardless of if you don't even have the true, you know, self-confidence to believe that you're going in the direction that you need to go. Now that self-confidence, that self-love is key. You do need to learn how to be in a relationship with yourself so that the person that, so you, the person you're in a relationship with, your other self can talk to you and dictate to you and help you stay on the path of greatness, right? So going back to, you know, um, like problem solving, if you will, if you are dedicated to your own growth, and you know inside of yourself that you're moving in in a direction that you want to move in and you and who God made you to be, then when you slip up or you make a mistake, don't count it as 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 reason, you know? Don't say that, oh, like I'm just never gonna get it right. I'm never gonna be who I need to be for the Lord. I'm never going to be able to exhaust myself in a way to where I am safe and and, and controlled, right? Or whatever. Um, you feel like is holding you back from just acknowledging how far you've come. Like, I think that is definitely a trap. And I don't want anybody to think that, um, you know, beating yourself up or, you know, living in shame or living in doubt and self-doubt, that that's going to help you along in your journey because it's not. It's only going to bring you further um, distress within yourself, distress, distress around you. And it's not just going to uh, you know, incorporate, um, the life that is to be lived. Okay. So, um, I say that to say is believe in yourself, believe in your journey, believe in your dreams, believe that you are going in the direction that you need to be, even when you don't have no signs around you telling you that you are. Okay. If you have a certain way about you, then trust that God gave you enough to get to where you need to go. You are extremely talented, loved, prosperous, um, you know, grateful, gracious. So you should never count yourself out. I don't give a crap what it looked like, how it looked like. I don't care what you did, what you didn't do. But at the end of the day, if you just persevere within yourself, within your spirit, within your mind, then you want to continue to be on that on that journey of self-help, self-love, self, you know, perseverance. So. Um, I just really want people to know that life is not a one time quick done and over with experience. It takes time, minutes, hours, days, months, years, weeks, decades, centuries to really be able to hone in on who you are and who you're evolving into. So don't think that it's just something that's going to happen overnight because it's not. And don't stress about trying to control the situation, control the scenario. Now, control what you can control, and let's be very lucid there in regards um, to, because a lot of times we can, like, hop up in our mind that we can control more than what we can, and that's not true. You know, your actions, um, just how you walk into the room and how you uh, handle yourself, that is something that you can control, right? Um, and uh, sometimes we get triggered. Sometimes we, we go through pain and trials and tribulations, and it is... Um, Sometimes you can't always control your emotional state. Um, But if you look at life from a lens of growth, self-love, of perspective, other than feeling like the world is like coming down on you, you'll be just fine. So don't worry about trying to um, always like 
um, have it all figured out because you're going to slip up. You're going to grow. You're going to stumble. You're going to, you know, do everything that you can do to get to where you got to go. So you'll be all right. You are okay. So don't worry too much. Worry is stress and we, we go in a different direction, right? So that is my, you know, um, beautiful, beautiful first segment to the pod. Um, now I want to get into a little bit of a different vibe. And I want to talk about the Kardashians. Yeah, everybody's talking about those sisters, right? Everybody wants to know what's going on with the Kardashians. And um, today I really am trying to touch on sexuality, right? And the right to express your sexuality. Now, a lot of people say that the Kardashians, they are marketing geniuses, marketing gurus. And, you know, to be honest, they, they, they kind of sell sex. Like, they, they sell their beauty. They sell their shape. They sell their appeal. They use what they got to get to where they want to go. And a lot of people judge them and they scrutinize them um, based off of this fact. Uh, but we don't talk about, eh, excuse me, I'm just tired. We don't talk about how men do it every day. Use women's sexual appeal to get what they want in life. I mean, look at the man Hugh Hefner. I mean, Hugh Hefner built a million, maybe even billion dollar empire off of the sexuality of a woman, right? So what's wrong with the women taking hold of their own sexuality, their own self-expression, their own sense of feeling good and looking sexy and, you know, keeping themselves up to a state where they want to appeal to the public. So I really ain't got no hate towards nobody out here that's doing what they want to and need to do to get to the next level. You know, don't disgrace yourself, but definitely um, use what you got. Be beautiful, be bright. Um, and be sexy, because if you're a grown woman, who is anybody to tell you that you got to bottle up parts of you? You know, we're here in this world to have a full experience, not one that is, you know, um, to gain the approval of another man. Like, enjoy yourself. Do what makes you happy. Do what works. <laughs> okay. And go from there. So. That is the first topic uh, of the pod. I mean, you know, that's 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 how I feel about that. Like, I feel like everybody just really need to chill. And they need to just learn to love each other and respect each other and let people express themselves, you know. Maybe that's why so many people out here, you know, uh, discussing it because they're afraid to express themselves. So... If you got an idea, if you got a sex appeal, if you got a way of being that you know is popping, that's lit, and we all got it because God gave us all, like I said, talent, gifts, and abilities, then express it unapologetically, you know? Like, we over here judging them, but they laugh into the bank. So, I ain't got no worries, okay? So, it is May. We are coming up on the end of May um time is flying you guys like it's really crazy how fast god works moves and evolve um the world you know with the trees and flowers blooming all that is really popping it's really lit there's a lot of things going on um in the city right now if you're from philadelphia i'm from philly oh yeah if I y'all one more time this video, y'all gonna hang up on me. So don't hang up on me just yet. But if you're in Philly, there's a lot of activities, things going on in the city. So chime in, get used to it, um, and enjoy the nice weather. At first, I was a, I was a little, I was a little, I was a little co- complaining. I'm like, um, May is spring is feeling like fall. I mean, summer's feeling whatever. We in spring, right? I'm like, yo, May is feeling like fall like it's not given i'm leaving out the house with a sweater on cold chilly shivering not the vibe not the way in which we need to go so (laughs) um enjoy yourself enjoy the weather take care of yourself do good and amazing things for yourself and the people around you and then continue to just spread love in the the houston way so you know i don't think that's the way you say it spread love the brooklyn way 
Yeah, y'all heard my biggie. Y'all heard my little, no, biggie, 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 biggie. Um. So, yeah, it's really not gonna be a long pod today, y'all. Um, I'm probably just gonna end this out on the um podcast of the week, and then our manifestation journal. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I want to talk about in regards to just like hot topics and things that's going on in the scene. I don't really know, y'all, because I be out, but I don't be out. Oh, um, Philly news: the new like running runner up for the Democratic Party um for mayor of Philadelphia is Miss Sherelle Parker. Um, I think that's lit. That's beautiful. I'm definitely ready for a shift in leadership. Um. You know, she is a beautiful black woman. And just knowing that she has a high chance of being the next 100th mayor of Philadelphia, this city has evolved in so many ways, okay? From discrimination um, down to very core levels, you know, to um, possibility, honor, to growth within the city. Um, I just really feel like we're on a good track and a good going in a good direction for all the citizens of the city of Philadelphia. Um, we are, you know, uh, dealing with at this moment, a lot of crime. Um, that's not just in Philly though, excuse me. Um, that's like all over the country, but I know in Philadelphia it's very like, I don't want to say expedited, but it's out there. And, um, it's just a lot of people that don't have the upbringing and, the stable environments to grow in a way that benefits them, right? So you got a lot of kids out here gang banging. Um, well, they don't really like. We don't really have gangs in Philly, but crime. You know what I'm saying? Like um, holding guns and shooting, and um, you know, getting into dangerous situations at a younger and younger age. And I just feel like. Um, we need a solution. We need a resolution. And I think that a black woman could definitely be the one to foster in that, that, that change. Right. So, um, you know, black women are healers. We are lovers. We are friends. We are mothers. We are, um, daughters. And, you know, to be black in America, you really do obtain a certain amount of knowledge of the society that we live in like you understand the good the bad and the ugly you know because um I just know like me being black like it like if I'm dressed up and I look good people are kind to me people respect me you have some people who still you know um like put put their nose up to me if you will be a little shady but that's normal that's everybody you never know what somebody's going through so don't judge people um but yeah, so you got the you know shady people. But if I look a mess, oh my god, it's so crazy how quick people are to just like not respect me, like as a as a human being. Like they'd be like, oh, you just a ghetto piece of you know trash. Like who cares about you? What like girl, you know, take a hike. Like um, who's next? Next? And I think that that's really crazy. But I bring it up to say is. You know, as as a black woman, I feel like I have a home perspective on the world in the way in which things are work, right? So, um, I'm looking forward to seeing all that Sherelle Parker does for the city of Philadelphia. Um, and you know, just keep rocking, keep rolling. I will meet you very soon. I look forward to being in the same rooms as you, um, and just contributing um what I have to the table and just um showing up for myself and my city so very nice to have you Sherelle I wish you the best of luck if you're watching and you you probably are I mean who doesn't who doesn't tune into I can be Mondays um but I just want to say like you know um I'm like sending you the best energy love light um for the general election that's coming up in December so shout outs to you black woman do you um make it happen and shake it up a bit because we are looking and moving in a new direction and everybody needs the grace 
to live prominent lives and the city of Philadelphia is a place where um you can live a prominent life and I think that everybody should be uh afforded uh, uh rewarded that chance so shout out to Sherelle um <laughs> so um yeah I mean the freaking pri- the was it general yeah the primary election was crazy felt like it was about like all these people was running around like with like with their heads cut off uh, especially for the mayoral candidacies and I was like dang um my man you know my, my boy Jeff Brown definitely put up a good fight he definitely was in it to win he definitely did a great job I think with his marketing campaign um if you're unfamiliar with Jeff Brown Jeff Brown is a um he's an entrepreneur he's the owner um, and I think the CEO of a lot of the shop rights and fresh grocers in the city of Philadelphia, and he employs, you know, people of color, all types of people all the time. Um, and, you know, he's created a lot, of, like I said, he's created a lot of opportunities in the city, and he's always looking to network and um, work with people, and he comes from a perspective of an open ear, and that's why I really love and respect Jeff Brown. And I know it's not done and over for him yet, I know he'll be back. Um, I hope he'll be back. I know he'll be back. I hope he'll be back. I am not sure. But what I can say is um, he put up a good fight. And um, I I look forward to the work that he will do regardless of being, you know, in the office or out of the office. So shout out to you, Jeff Brown. Thank you for all the contributions in which you've made to the city of Philadelphia. Thank you for making sure that we have food to eat. Um. And, you know, we just have the resources that we need to survive and live, uh, you know, prom- well, punishable lives. So, shout out to Jeff. Um, I, I fully support Jeff and everything that he does. And, um, yeah, let's just keep going. Let's keep that ball rolling, man. Woo! <laughs> so, um, so, let's get on to our podcast of the week. So, I got two podcasts of the week for y'all. Um, I know, right? Like, hype, happy, because um, last week I was like, I don't even know. But my podcast of the week, um, the first one is um, Drink Champs, Rick Ross, um, the Rick Ross episode of Drink Champs. Um, that was a great episode to watch. Um you know, just seeing, like, Rick really kind of just talk and break down of, like, how he does, the way that he, how he, he runs his operation, how he runs his mindset, the way he thinks, the way he moves, you know, is definitely giving boss energy, and the part where he was, like, um, you know, like, they had asked him, they was, like, you know, what makes a boss, like, what makes you a boss, what was the definition of a boss, and he said that a boss is someone that makes sure everybody eats. Everyone has what they need to live the lives that they need to live and go in a direction um, of greatness, right? And I was like, wow, like, I, that's me. I'm a boss. You know what I'm saying? I'm a boss because I genuinely care about sustainability and then growth, right? I want people to be able to reach heights that they never even imagined and then some. So, it just it just inspired me to keep going and to remember that I'm a boss, he's a boss, we're all bosses if you handle it right. And, um, you know, shout out to him. Shout out to that episode. It's popping. Go watch it. Um, yeah, it's lit. Um, my second podcast of the week was um, Angie Martinez IRL podcast featuring Janelle Monet. Oh, my God. Now... Just being able to really t- uh, listen to Janelle Monet, I want to say be in the same room, but be in the same space, even if it's via video, is a blessing, okay? This woman is very insightful. She's very loving. She's still kind at the end of the day, um, and she's free. Like, she's like, you know what? That's why I talked about um a little earlier about, you know, like, don't set limits on yourself. Like, express all of who you are and that's what I really got from that podcast I got you know none of you no parts of you are shameful no parts even if they wrong 
even if you embarrass yourself, even if you go off the deep end, you know, everything is about growth and learning and evolving. Um, but during that process, every step of the process, you got to give yourself some grace. You got to give yourself some love. You got to hug yourself at the end of the day. Even when it feels like ain't nobody hugging you, hug yourself. Be there for yourself. Love yourself. Don't look for validation from anyone else. Just love yourself. Sorry, I got a little interrupted. Um, But yeah, no, seriously, like every step of the journey is for you to experience and grow from. You know, um, the very smart, famous Jalen Hurts has mentioned, you know, his one of his favorite um, or his favorite Bible verse is, um, well, you may not know now, but soon you will know or like, yeah. So it's like you never know how God is working on you and God will bring good stuff and he'll also bring destruction and I think that a lot of it just really is a mirror back on ourselves of what we need to do and how we need to improve and how we need whatever has to happen for us to get closer to the kingdom get closer to him to love him and honor him let's do that let's keep that going right so y'all those are my podcasts of the week let's end this joint out on manifestation um, Mondays and you know what do I want to manifest this week and I think I want to manifest uh, purity in a sense like I really just want to express who I am and I don't want to say jump into my impulses but if I get a sign if I get a, a idea I want to go for it you know even if my intuition I want to follow my intuition I want to grow closer to who I am and um really like um be um accepting uh, accepting like because I ain't got it all put together I don't know every step that's supposed to come in front of me or in back of me but I just know I want to express myself to the fullest so I want people to see me to get to know who ICB is and um yeah go from there so I'm manifesting uh popping out um ripping out get being ripped out the plastic acting brand new but i've always been this girl i've always been this person so yeah you guys that is i i i i i i i can be mondays where we talk about all we can be on monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday and sunday and i am very grateful to have talked to you guys today to have been a part of your routine um keep checking in keep um keeping up with the girl we got plenty of stuff coming new content new vibes new energies and let's just kill this thing called life so that's the love you oh bye